Hi guys, this is Piotr Kieszkowski from the Aquarium Television Definite Aquascape TV and this is another part of my report from Aquatics Live 2012 show in London. Today I want to show you several aquariums arranged by members of Hanslow and District Aquarist Society. I think these tanks are good proposition for people who just want to have a nice aquarium without strong lighting, CO2 supplementation and trimming plants every day. Altogether 8 aquariums were presented, let's see them one by one. The first aquarium, I think the right side of this tank is better, with this branched fragment of driftwood surrounded by green stems of limnophila. The aquarium is stocked with hockey stick tetras Theria boelkei, which are really calm here, and the dark green plant in the left corner is large anubias. Actually, there will be many more Anubis plants in other aquariums here. Now the second aquarium, I think this one is really the best here. Plants with large leaves are Echinodoras. In the middle there is some Microsorum and this bright green bush is made of Hygrophila polysperma. I also like the use of driftwood here, which not only works like a sort of border between the viewer and the plants, but also has this arch on the left side, so fish can swim underneath it. And the fish are cherry barbs, Pancha stichia, species originating from Sri Lanka. For best colors and most interesting behavior, you should keep a group of at least eight individuals. The next aquarium, not so many plants here. The background is planted with Echinodoras. There are also some Cryptocorina here some microsorum and lots of bright green hygrophila polysperma which we see which we see right now aquarium is stocked mostly with tiger barbs of two different varieties the wild one with black stripes and the golden one without black color personally i like the wild form much better Aquarium number 4, again not many plants, only some Anubias on both sides, one Echinodoras in the back and Hygrophila deformis in the central part. Aquarium is stocked with fancy guppies, which are similar to half black red variety, but I'm not sure if this is indeed this variety. If you guys know, please let me know in the comments. Aquarium number 5, with interesting cave made of driftwood. Some of the plants used here would probably grow best in stronger light, actually. Aquarium is stocked with flame tetras, hyphosobricon flamels, originating from South America. And this is aquarium number 6, planted only with Anubias plants, with numerous pebbles on the bottom. Aquarium is stocked mostly with tiger barbs, again of wild and golden forms, but there are also some other fish, like this red platy fish on the left side. This aquarium reminds me of aquariums I used to make as a kid, <laughs> because I usually used some stones to create terraces in the corners of the aquarium. And now aquarium number 7, planted mostly with Hygrophila deformis in the central part and large Anubias in the left corner. Here we have some rosy barbs, Pancheas conchonias, chasing each other between the leaves. Actually, I'm quite, su I'm quite surprised that all Anubias plants used in this ex small exhibition are not covered by algae. It's rather difficult to find such nice Anubias in the trade. What I like about this aquarium is that the ceramic fragments on the bottom are partially covered with gravel. It adds some natural feeling to the layout. And finally, the last aquarium, tank number 8, again with very nice Anubias without any algae on the leaves. Aquarium is stocked with red-eye tetras Moenchhausia sanctophilomini originating from South America and with Congo tetras originating from Africa. Red-eye tetras are very good fish for beginners, they are tolerant for various water conditions. However, they will do best in densely planted tanks with dark substrate and should be kept in a larger groups of at least 8 to 10 individuals. Please also note that all the aquariums have walls covered with opaque background. It's really important because you are not distracted by things visible behind the aquariums and also fish feel much safer when they don't see the surroundings. 
Okay, so this was the exhibition made by members of Hanslow and District Aquary Society. If you like this video, please share it with others. You can also subscribe to my YouTube channel, like my page on Facebook or bookmark my website to be updated about new videos. And now, thank you for your attention. This was Piotr Kieszkowski from the Aquarium Television, Definite Aquascape TV.